I think that's a really smart way to think about it and certainly fits with the way I've been thinking about outrage in social media. If algorithms that determine what we see are selecting for the most outrage provoking content, then they're not going to show liberals the like reasonable <laughs> conservatives whose viewpoints are close to their own. They're going to show the, the cartoon villain version of conservatives and vice versa. So conservatives are not going to be seeing the, the viewpoints from liberals that would, would engender compromise and harmony. They're going to see the, the cartoon villi villain like crazy versions of, of, of liberals that are most likely to engender outrage on that side. So you know, this is, of course, I should say, not new to social media. Talk radio and you know political cable television shows have capitalized on this insight for decades. So this really predates social media. I think the like one difference is that the the content is now coming from users as well as from the the shock jocks and the and the talking heads.